I am a Hispanic 10th reader that goes to Austin High School. I come from a family of, I have six siblings and I have one parent. I'm the second oldest of my family. I have, let me count, <laughs> okay. I think like maybe five brothers, one sister. I come from a middle class family of five. My dad and mom both work at Mayo Clinic in Austin. I am an African American 10th grade student. I've been living in Austin my whole life. I come from a family of seven and my mom and dad are both from Africa. I came from um, to the U.S. when I was very young from Thailand and I have two brothers, two sisters and I was the youngest one in the family. My dad was born in Ethiopia, graduated from MSU. My mom is going through a divorce right now but she still manages to work and she does overtime and she still has all this time for her kids. My parents are both teachers, so I grew up around a lot of teachers in my life. Um, I'm involved in a lot of activities in school and outside of school. We were all born in the United States. My parents uh, led, left their land in 1996 and they moved, came to America and they moved from Worthington to Austin and that's where I was born. I wish that we had more like of a program set up that we can Job shadow. I don't know what I'm really interested in right now. Since I'm only in 10th grade, I don't, re I haven't really explored all my options. By my senior year, hopefully, I know exactly what I want to do, and I make the right decision. My strongest suits are not in like the math and science area. I really like to learn about things that I'll use in real life. I want to learn more about like how the real world is, and just like have like a real world class where you go out and just like do stuff like what you really gonna do in the real world, how to like live in the real world. I want to learn how to become like a good leadership so I could uh, help my community. I think that learning should be more like hands-on, not in, like having a book in your face and always reading out of the book in a, in a classroom. For me, it has to be like visual and hands-on. If you're telling me something, I might just like space out the whole class period and not even know what just happened. Well, it takes your like your whole mind and your body focusing on that one thing to do something, so I think you're just more involved. I'm a visual learner, but I'm also I feel like I'm also a conversationalist learner. And I think it's more easier to learn for me when I do hands-on stuff. To me, learning should feel like you want to be there, not like you you're forced to be there. I learn best by hands-on experiences, lectures, and yeah, basically just doing the um, experiences hands-on. I think that every teacher should know that every student is differently, and that the more that you learn about their background and their life outside of school, the, the better you can help them academically. I don't like school, but I'm gonna do what I have to do and have a good attitude and just try to learn. Saying your actual name, that means so much. And just being able to ask them about like, what's going on in your life, like how is your day going, that means more than they'll ever know. I'm not a very good learner and it takes quite a while for me to catch on things so good. So it just like takes stuff step by step. I'm like, I like to ask a lot of questions, so be ready for my questions. Kind of want them to know like who you are, like your personality, like are you a shy person or a talkative person that could really bring the relationship easier. Every student is different, you know. There's some students that just don't completely like the teacher at all. It's difficult. I, I can't really, I don't know what to say to, to build a relationship with a student. I think the best way to build a relationship is to bring out your character. And if I don't feel like I would be comfortable with you, I won't show my character at all. I'll be silent, but if I feel that I can have a comfortable relationship with you, you will see more of who I am. One thing they could do is like a, have like simple conversations with you or ask a questions about you. I just think we're all genuinely good people here in Austin. I mean, all kids, like you may think a kid's too far gone, but I don't think that's true. I think teachers have the ability to change a kid for the better and can make a drastic impact in their life that can set them for the amazing future. So really, you guys have one of the most important jobs in the world. <laughs>